Riddle me this. What's 88 centimetres long, but only one centimetre thick? No, that's not right. It is, in fact, my new Night Crew Aqualux LED light. And this is the brand new light from Night Crew. It's the Aqualux. Now, I've been waiting for this to come out. I didn't know it was coming out, but I assumed at some point there would be a new release because they've already got quite a few lights. So I was waiting for this to arrive. And here it is. And look at it. Oh my God. Is this a generic Chinese brand or could this be from a brand like Fluval? Look how thin it is. It's amazing. And this is why I've been waiting for it. It was first put on Amazon in December last year, at the end of December. So pretty much, I think I'm the only one at the moment who's had a decent look at one of these. And I've got to say, so far, so good. I've been running it for a few days on my Fluval shaker just to see what it's like. And I am actually impressed for the price. So there are a few different size models of this. I'll just um, put that up on the screen now so you can see all the different sizes. I've got the second to biggest one because it needs to fit on my Fluval shaker. You can see here it's designed for planted aquariums or saltwater aquariums. We can do a daylight or we can do a blue. There's no red LEDs on this. It's quite simple as to what you get inside the box and it says it's ideal for low to medium light level plants. So obviously it's not lying to you, it's not saying that it shines like the brightness of the sun, it is realistic in your expectations. So clearly I've already unpacked this, it was packed reasonably well, I mean it's quite barren inside there, you don't get a lot of bits and pieces. In the UK at least you get a three pin plug, we have our instruction manual that comes in a few different languages, um, pretty simple in there, and also we get a wired controller so this is really cool obviously night crew already do their own controller which I've used before and is amazing but this is a little bit of a simpler controller so on here we have a few different settings this allows you to turn it straight from white to blue or off we've got our timer so for instance if you wake up at 8 in the morning and press it on to 12 hours it will continue going until eight in the evening but there is a 15 minute ramp up and ramp down time when you use the timer this b allows you to adjust the blue leds and this white allows you to adjust the white leds i think there's about five or six different brightnesses that you can choose from with that but it comes with it on its own so that's pretty cool so i've already fitted the extended brackets you can see here that's quite a length on there so i mean i probably wouldn't use it at full length i'll just get the bigger model and i haven't yet removed this film so let's go ahead and do that now oh that's very satisfying isn't it oh so there are our leds we've got 120 white leds and 24 blue leds you can see the different LEDs, the um, yellow ones are the white ones, and then the ones here are the blue, with a B next to it, handily. And it's all pretty nice. So we've got acrylic on the surface here to protect the LEDs. The surround, though, is metal. Let's have a little look. And the rest of the light is made from solid aluminium. You can see it's like a plastic coating that I've just scratched off there to reveal it. Solid, nice. Feels like quality, doesn't it? What we don't have on here are any heat sinks or anything like ridges, like a lot of lights have. This is smooth. This reminds me of the top end Fluval lights, the Fluval plant and the Fluval reef lights, doesn't it? It looks the same, but it's thin, really, really thin. What we don't have on here is any kind of Bluetooth. We don't have any kind of Wi-Fi or app connectivity. We have the controller, which is fine. I like this. Lots of people like this. So I've turned all the lights off because we're going to look at the most important thing, which is how does it actually look? Does it work as a good light? Well, this is it, solely illuminating my Fluval Shaker 252. This is a quite deep tank. You can see we have got some nice coloration, haven't we? Look how bright the fish look. Look how bright everything looks. This is a 50 pound LED light for the, for the size that I've got. And I would say that that is a very nice price point to be getting this kind of illumination. So I normally run my Fluval Reef light over the top. But I think I'm going to be using them both now. They look amazingly similar, don't they? But look how thin it is. I'm amazed by the thinness. So let's have a look at the controller. So we've got M, just turns it from white to blue white to blue we have got the timer here and you can see we've got different colored leds depending on which setting you set it to which is nice 
So when you use it initially, as I said earlier, you'll start off with the ramp up. So that's why it's not as bright at the moment. So we'll just turn it straight back on. Um, so it's still on the 12 hour setting. So I guess you can override that if you want to. And then we've got the blue ramp. It will just turn the blues off eventually and then back to start. And the same with the white. Now, I don't think you'd ever really want to dim it down so much. I'd probably run it at full spectrum, but you can if you want to. And talking about spectrum, these LEDs are 6,500K for the white LEDs. So great for plants or macroalgae. And the blue LEDs are 20,000K. So you can use this light over corals. And I'm going to be, I'm pretty sure this is going to be able to support soft corals quite happily. I'm really impressed by this. Now, like I said, I have been using this light the last couple of days and I was immediately reminded of how much and how similar this light performs to a fluval aqua sky. I mean, it looks very similar. Yes, it does give you a slightly yellow tinge to your water, but that's what 6500K does. Obviously, on a marine tank, you might want more blue, so this might not suit you, but for a macroalgae marine tank, this is ideal, and also for fresh water, this is ideal. So in terms of using this for a marine tank, obviously we can, but does it make corals glow? This is a big question that a lot of people will want to know. I'm gonna turn the white down. Oh, it does make corals glow, look. Glowy, glowy corals. So yes. Obviously, if the blues are making the corals fluoresce, clearly they will be using the blue light to grow. So this can support corals. I'm gonna go into this comparison in another video, but look at these two lights. So I think aesthetically, Night Crew have really nailed it on this one because they look great, don't they? You couldn't tell really from afar which one was the Fluval light and which one was the Night Crew light. In fact, I actually prefer the brackets on the Night Crew light to the brackets on the Fluval light. That being said, we all know and love Fluval LEDs, don't we? We have touch buttons and Bluetooth and all sorts of fun toys on a Fluval light, which we don't have on the Night Crew, but that's okay, the Night Crew is 50 pounds. Can you believe it? So I'll tell you what we'll do, because this reminds me so much of the Fluval Aquasky, we'll just do a real quick comparison. I've got an Aquasky here, and this is a, a, a silver one, it comes with a Fluval shaker, but believe me, other than the colour and the brackets, it is a Fluval Aquasky. So we're going to compare the two. We're going to start off with how the Fluval Aquasky looks over this tank. There's the Fluval Aquasky, nice and bright, fish look good, everything looks vibrant, it is slightly yellow tinge though to it, which is fine because that's what we expect from a freshwater planted tank. Also I don't run skimmers on my aquarium, saltwater aquarium about skimmers, with lots of macroalgae in it, tends to go a little bit yellow anyway, so totally fine. Now let's switch over to the Night Crew Aqualux. Dare I say it, but I think it looks marginally better slightly less yellow, slightly more vibrant fish, I would say. I, I do think that the Royal Grammar is a bit more poppy in terms of its purple coloration. And also I'd say that it's slightly brighter. I'm gonna do a little Lux test on it. I'll just confirm my thoughts. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone here. My phone is a Samsung Galaxy Ultra. So I'm gonna use the light sensor on that with a Lux meter app. And I'm gonna put the light along here. So we're going to measure the total lux from the top of the tank to the bottom of the tank. So this is the Night Crew Aqualux at the top of the tank in line with that lip and we see we've got 1953 lux and then what I'm going to do is turn that off. So now we're in darkness. So here is the Fluval Aqua Sky. I'm moving it around a bit because I've got a bit of a jittery arm but you can see the idea 157 to 158 so it is roughly 400 lux dimmer than the night crew light. From that we can see that this Aqualux light is brighter than the Aquasky. But I mean it's a bit unfair because this has only got one row of LEDs, this has got three. And we can clearly see from the reflection that the LEDs on the Aquasky are actually brighter than the LEDs on the Aqualux. But if you were to buy these two, the Aquasky is more expensive. Uh, I think almost double, if not double. I'll put it up now because I'm not in internet connectivity range to check. 
The Aqua Sky is definitely more expensive than the Aqualux, and we're getting a brighter result from the Aqualux. This is the two combined. What a nice, bright aquarium we have. So I've saved this part to the end of the video in case it goes horribly, horribly wrong. This claims to be IP67 rated. IP67 rated means it can be immersed in water down to a meter depth for about 30 minutes, I believe. And that's what we're going to be doing. Although not for 30 minutes, we're going to be dunking it in. Now remember kids, electricity and water do not go together. And with that said, let's put my brand new light into my saltwater sump. And it's not frying me with electricity and the light seems to be still working. So that is good, isn't it? There we go. One more time. Oh, I'm getting brave now. Yay! I'm not dead. Right, cool. So, if you drop this in your aquarium, you should be safe in the knowledge that it's not going to break. Although we have got some water in it now, look. <laughs> Brilliant. There is a slight bit of water ingress. <laughs> it's probably going through this area of the frame, which hasn't quite been joined properly onto the um, rest of the frame, I guess. But I remember the last time I did this to my other Night Crew light, I got an email or a comment or something from Night Crew telling me that it's not the cases it's not the case or the mounting that's ip67 rated it's the leds themselves and they're actually protected in a silicone form but this one doesn't look like it's got any silicone around it so i've had some water ingress on my ip67 rated led i'll let you think about that for yourself so there we go we've discovered something haven't we if you get one that's got this kind of issue you might want to contact them for a new one i hope this won't affect the light long term it might melt this led i'm wondering whether i should um turn it on and actually see what happens now i mean it's still working isn't it it's still the same brightness as the rest of them i'm pretty sure salt water isn't that good for electrical equipment but we'll see long term what happens to this after being submerged. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I like to try out new things when they come on the market, this light being one of them. Obviously, some things were good about it. We had, well, it was going really well actually, wasn't it? Up until that final test of the IP67 rating, I am very impressed with this light. I think should the quality control be a little bit higher, where something like that little gap between the frame and the rest of the mounting doesn't happen. You know, if they could match Fluval or other brands with that quality control where they know every unit's gonna be going out perfectly. Now, it's a shame, I suppose, that I got a, a 41 in a way because, you know, on another day, I would've got one that didn't have that gap and probably would've been IP67 rated. But that's the chance you take, isn't it? I mean, if, it's not me, if it wasn't me who got it, it would've been someone else who would've been disappointed with it. But other than that, I think it's excellent for the price point. £50 for that size light, LED light with all the controllers and things is an absolute steal. Um, just be careful not to drop it in your aquarium, I guess. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like. Also, subscribe to my channel. Once again, thanks for watching and happy fish keeping.